What up, you Sigas? So shut your vape holes and check this one out. Today we're gonna get vapey Middle Eastern style with my very first portable e shisha smoker. Now that's what I'm talking about. So today we are taking a look at my very first E hookah piece ever. Now I'm excited not because I personally have too much attachment to an e hookah, but I think I had somebody ask me the first time what electronic cigarette was the most like a hookah, probably about three years ago. And really, from that time up until now, there hasn't been a great answer. Even the little portable e hookahs and stuff, I mean, they're really just like e cigarettes. Finally, they have something for the real e hookah users who've got their own hookahs. This is a piece that is going to fit right on top of almost any traditional hookah in replacement of the coal shisha piece, the bowl that goes on top. So I really think this is going to be a valuable tool in the fight against the icky sticks for a whole new region of the world, namely the Middle East and all that area. So hopefully this is going to be something that's going to work out well. I'm going to test it for you and let you guys know what I think. I have um, smoked a hookah in the past a couple of times, it seems like in college. All I really remember about the experience was kind of getting Nick sick and maybe a little bit of a dry throat but it still seems like you know it can't be the greatest for your health so I think having an e-juice alternative is going to really help you guys make that transition so anyways without any further plug let's go ahead and bust this thing out of the box wow very nice looking whoo and there are your controls on the top all digital e-shisha users Welcome to the 21st century. Okay, I believe you're going to set your e-juice compartment down in there. Manual. Reminder to clean and dry the atomizer after each use. Your charger. And your e-juice tank. A nice big tank. So... It really looks like it's supposed to replace a full session. I know once you put the shisha in with that coal, you could smoke that shit for hours. So I the atomizer after each use. I don't know if you actually have to do that or not, but your charger and your e-juice tank. A nice big tank. So it really looks like it's supposed to replace a full session. I know once you put the shisha in with that coal, you could smoke that shit for hours. So this looks like it'll give you a similar type of length of vape experience. So here's your tank. There's a little rubber seal you're going to pop, and then that's where you're going to fill your juice at. So I've just got to pick something out here to fill it with, get this guy filled up, and we're going to hit this hookah. All right, guys, I've got the tank filled up with some of my new favorite Space Jam e-juice. But it turns out I don't have anything that I can attach this e-shisha head to. So what else can I do except run down to the smoke shop and get a damn e-hookah? Or I guess a hookah, whatever they got, that we can put this on. Oh, right. Back from the store, I picked up some goodies. So I picked up a hookah. So we're finally going to be able to try that out. And while I was down there, I got a couple other toys. A new vape mail knife. Check it out. I love that blade's about a quarter of the... <laughs> you expect it to be the same length as the handle, but turns out when it pops out, it's just this little tiny. Big enough, though, to open packages. I'm stoked. Don't make me. Just in case indoor smokers got to cut a package. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. It comes in several pieces, as you who are familiar with hookahs will recognize. Bowl piece on top, this piece, and then the base where the water and everything goes. I'm going to show you in just a second. What we got in here, no, not a failure to communicate. I know it's pink, but... It was the cheapest one they had for $49, so I ain't bitching about it. A couple of pink hoses. Well, Tia's coming in later on today, so I'll let her try this thing out. She'll love the pink. 
Let's just see how it should work. I may end up loving this hookah so much, I just might wish I hadn't gotten it in pink so I could have it out in the living room a little bit more. But this thing looks like fun. I don't know what you guys define fun as, but to me, boom, you're looking at it. Hoses, vapage, all kinds of cool shit going on here. So the only thing left then is to fill this thing up with some water. All right, I'm back with the complete setup. We got water in the bottle here and I've got my tank and everything loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this thing at about five to start with and let's see what kind of vapor production we get off of this. Oh, there it goes. Something's firing. Damn! I guess it just took a couple of draws to get the vapor all the way through the hose. But wow, you can see this thing when it starts kicking. That is not freaking bad. Maybe you guys in the Middle East been on to something. This is a nice way to vape. I like it going through the water. Here, I'll see if you guys can actually see without losing everything. Talk about freaking awesome. Now I'm not saying it's the most convenient way to vape there is, but for a social aspect, and I know for people in the Middle East and that part of the world that vaping on a hookah or excuse me, smoking a hookah, you know, is a big part of the social aspect, going out to a place, doing it with friends, things like that. That's why they got up to the four hoses. So the fact that you can replicate the social aspect of smoking with the vaping, I think is actually kind of cool. I'm going to have Tia, when she comes in later today to help me with the giveaway video, try this thing out. All right, guys. Well, Tia of Tia Vapes was down here today helping me with the giveaway video for EpicEcigReviews.com. If you're in that one, you might want to go over watch and see if you won. I'll get it started then. You hold it. Okay. Oh, it's smoke. What? That is so cool. Wow. Give it a mm. shot. I feel who can funny. <laughs> nice. What do you think of that? Wow. This who plug it for me a second. This who gave bad. The flavor's good, huh? I'm impressed. That is actually really good flavor, but I love Space Jam, so. That's really good. That is so cool. Going through the water is nice. Like I said, do people know what they've been doing smoking on a hookah? This is actually like a pretty nice fucking vaping device. The whole setup's good and it's clean tasting, huh? Wow. Yeah. I was so skeptical of this thing, honestly. I was like, what? This is cool. I think Six volts. Let's see it. We're going to both try it. Okay, okay. One, two, three, go. Yeah, you took all of that from me. <laughs> <laughs> I stole all her vapor. I guess you can't <laughs> only go one at a time. Otherwise, you better really be serious with them lungs. <laughs> Damn, that was like stealing candy from a baby. I was not expecting it to freaking vape like that. I gotta say. Neither. But yeah, so yeah. smoking that shisha. Come on, Misha. Get with the E. Fucking shisha here. This shit's gonna save your life. All right, guys, use the link underneath the video if I find a place where you can go check this out for yourself. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to check out more crazy e-cig products and accessories. Catch you guys next time. All right, the box lifts right off the top, it looks like. Broke it already, you son of a bitch.